Hi there, I'm Sarabha Biancar. I'm the Chief Product Officer at MicroStrategy. For those of you that don't know us, MicroStrategy has been in the business of intelligence and analytics for the last 34 years. Uh, and our vision has always been about bringing intelligence to everyone, everywhere, all around the world. And for those last 34 years, every step of the way, there's been these innovations that have happened either at MicroStrategy or in the world around us uh, that we've been able to harness to really bring information to even more people. So, you know, there was the era of web intelligence where all of a sudden you could go from, you know, intelligence on your desktop to intelligence in browsers. And that massively increased the number of people that could access information. Uh, then there was mobile, right? Mobile came along and all of a sudden we could put intelligence in people's hands. And right now we're at the cusp of the largest revolution that I think that we've seen in the business intelligence and analytics space, uh, perhaps ever. And that revolution is generative AI. And we fundamentally believe that with generative AI, we can finally bring intelligence to everyone everywhere on this planet. So if we think about intelligence everywhere, uh, we really have to think about, you know, what is it that we're trying to get out to people, right? And what we really want to do is we want to bring people's intelligence, right? We want to bring smart, uh, natural language, uh, cognitive capabilities coming from the world of AI, but we also want to bring them precision and trust. And so if we think about the world of BI and kind of where historically the, market, the market's been in the world of AI, I think it's fair to say that BI has been very precise, right? It can calculate things just the right way. It can give you the answers that you would expect. You can get reports and visualizations and dashboards and all these kinds of things. But if we're honest with ourselves, even though BI has the word intelligence in it, it really hasn't been that smart, right? If you asked it a question, for example, it couldn't really understand what you were saying. Um, but AI, on the other hand, is extremely smart. It can understand you. I think we all remember the first time we used ChatGPT and we said, wow, this thing can understand what I'm trying to say and it can create things. It's got this cognitive capability that's really awesome. But the downside with AI is that it's actually not very precise. It's, it's not deterministic. It's actually... Um, probabilistic. And so as a result, the answers aren't, you know, always what you might expect. And it can, it tends to have this ability, you know, this, this, this tendency to uh, hallucinate a little bit. And so you think about what we're really trying to do with MicroStrategy AI and MicroStrategy One is we're trying to intersect these two things. And we believe that if we bring the precision and trust of BI together with the cognitive capabilities of AI, and we merge those two things together, we can, for the first time ever, make intelligence everywhere possible because people can ask questions using normal human linguistics and get answers that they can actually trust. And that's fundamentally what we have been doing for the last little while. And we're really proud to introduce a new product called MicroStrategy AI that takes us in that direction uh, for the first time ever. And so if we think about the world of artificial intelligence, you know, the new world of artificial intelligence and the world of business intelligence that we've been in uh, for the last 34 years, we fundamentally believe that they're better together. And th the reason we believe this is because the things that underpin BI, right, trust and distribution of data and governance and precision, when applied underneath AI, can make it much easier to build and deploy AI solutions, like by a significant factor. And on the other hand, if you take BI, but you add AI to it, you can make a BI easier to adopt, more productive, easier to use. And so there's a symbiotic relationship between the two where we can make it easier for our customers to adopt AI, but we can also make the BI world better as well. Now, when we think about AI adoption, I think many customers out there, prospects, all of you are trying to figure out how do I inject AI into my applications? How do I bring AI to my business and adopt it across the board to make us more competitive, to make us more efficient, to make us just better businesses overall with better customer experiences. And if you, if you try to actually build an AI solution all by yourself and deploy it, you'd probably run into four, I would say, major challenges. The first is the user experience. How do you actually build something with that experience in it, with a chat experience or forecasting and, and key driver capabilities? How do you then add trusted data to that, right? From any data source in a governed way, that's a pretty difficult thing to do actually. Do you have the AI skills required to actually build the AI application itself? Do you have the LLM skills? Do you got uh, the ability to you know, 
connect to OpenAI or whatever LLM you want, the prompt engineering skills, the ML skills. And then finally, if you had all those things, how do you actually integrate that into your world, into your enterprise ecosystem, into the platform that you choose, whether it's Azure or Google Cloud Platform or AWS? Right? How do you do that? And so with MicroStrategy One, we try to make that easy. On the UX front, as you'll see in a moment here, we've built UI uh, and AI experiences out of the box. They just work, and you're able to get them out on web devices and eventually mobile devices and other things uh, as well. We've always had that trust capability. We've got a thing called the semantic graph that allows you to build trusted calculations with governance, with security rules, uh, and profiles. So you can make sure that the right data from pretty much any source out there gets to the right people uh, in a trustable way. We've built all the AI engineering skills in the platform. So you don't have to worry about how to write against uh, LLM APIs. You don't need to worry about how to do prompt engineering. Uh, you just turn on MicroStrategy AI on top of your data. And your users can start asking questions and getting responses. And you didn't have to worry about any of that by yourself. And finally, we allow you to deploy that in your platform of choice. So whether you want to do that on Azure, if you want to do that on AWS, uh, very soon on Google Cloud Platform as well, we let you pick your ecosystem and deploy MicroStrategy in the way that suits you best. And so with that, let me introduce to you MicroStrategy AI, which is available today. MicroStrategy AI comes with, I would say, two fundamental things. Behind the hoods, which I'll show you in a few minutes, we've got all the prompt engineering, the LLM integration, and so forth that powers all of this. And at the front of it, we've got Auto. Auto is our new AI assistant that sits in the MicroStrategy platform and makes doing things with data easier than it's ever been before. So with Auto, there's these four major things that it does. The first is called Auto Dashboard. And it's exactly what it sounds like. You can type in a query, and we will go ahead and generate dashboards and analytics for you on your behalf in seconds. The second thing is Auto SQL. Again, it does what you would expect. You can type in what you want sitting on top of database tables, and we will generate the SQL for you. We'll also explain SQL if you've got complex SQL that you don't understand. And we'll even optimize the SQL if that's what you need us to do as well. So with Auto SQL, you can generate SQL, you can explain SQL, and you can also optimize SQL as well. The third major area is what we call Auto Expert. And this is trained on the repository of MicroStrategy knowledge. And so if you want to do something in MicroStrategy, like build a chart, or build a specific kind of a metric, or do a specific kind of a calculation, whatever it might be, uh, you can, instead of having to look through our documentation and all that, you can just go to Auto Expert, ask it how to do something, and it will go ahead and generate the answer for you. And finally, the flagship of MicroStrategy AI is what we call Auto Answers. And Auto Answers is what it sounds like. You type in some words, and we will generate answers for you based on the data that you are looking at. So with that, I'm going to show you a couple of demos uh, of a few of these things right now. Let's start with Auto Dashboard. So here we are. We're in a dashboard in this particular example. But we could actually be. Uh, just using a data set. So you can start off with a data set or you can start off with an existing dashboard. And now you want to create a new dashboard, a new page. And what you do is you click on Auto, which is up there in the right-hand corner. It's a cute little robot. And what we do is we actually talk to OpenAI to figure out what kinds of analysis are possible. And now the user can select one of those, as we did in this demo, or they can just go ahead and type something in. In both cases, we then go ahead and figure out exactly what to show on the screen we execute all the queries in the MicroStrategy calculation layer, what we call the semantic graph, to make sure that the queries are run with the right governance, with the right calculations, and so forth. And boom, just like that, we show a dashboard on top. The second example is very similar, but this time you're just going to let the user type in whatever they want. They don't have to select one of the things that we suggest. And so here they're asking to see you know, employee uh, performance, for example, on call center data. And you just hit go. And again, we use OpenAI's linguistic capabilities to figure out what it is that the user is trying to do. We then generate queries based on that and execute that down into the MicroStrategy platform, running the, the business logic and rules that are specific to your organization. And what comes back, just like magic, is, in fact, a beautiful dashboard, very easy to use. And if you think about what, how much time it would have taken to actually build this by hand, this might have taken hours, maybe even days in some cases, to figure out what you want to analyze, really see what data is there, 
put it in the right spots, give it the right formatting, all these kinds of things. But with auto, which is part of MicroStrategy AI, click a button, type in a query, and boom, just like that, you get the dashboard or dashboards that you're looking for. So that's auto dashboard. The second example I wanna show you is auto answers. And this is the key for, for, for people that are business people, they are uh, regular everyday people out there in the world, and they're maybe looking at a dashboard and they've got questions, right? And in today's world, sadly, if they have questions, they don't have the skills to build analytics, well, they're gonna to need to go and start phoning people, maybe you know, Slack or Teams them, or you know, send them a service ticket, things like this. But oftentimes it takes a really long time to get an answer. And in many cases, they don't get an answer at all. And that actually frustrates them quite a bit. They, they sort of think that IT is slow and all these kinds of things because they're not getting answers to their questions. Well, with auto answers, you just open up a dashboard, you click on auto, and you start answer, asking the questions that you have, right? Anybody can use it. And again, we use OpenAI to help us uh, understand what kinds of questions the user can ask so we can prompt the user and give them some guidance. And the user, again, has a choice. They can click one of those and, and use one of the suggested uh, questions, or they can type something in themselves uh, and get answers as well. So this is an example of them clicking on one. And again, we're using OpenAI to explain the answer. We're using MicroStrategy and our semantic graph to actually go and do the calculations and the visualizations. And boom, just like magic, they get answers and they get explanations of those answers um, in ways that were really never possible before. Another common thing that people ask for is why. Why is something happening? In this case, why is, you know, what's affecting customer uh, satisfaction? And in this particular case, what we do is we're actually doing this dance between OpenAI and MicroStrategy and Python and, and using OpenAI to figure out the kind of question that the user is asking. We're using MicroStrategy to go and execute the query. And then we're using Python's key driver analysis capabilities with some algorithms that we've shipped to do the key driver analysis. And as you can see here, you get an explanation, you get the key driver analysis, but all that sophistication is behind the scenes. And from a user perspective, they ask a question, and they get an answer. And this was really never possible even just a year ago before Gen AI and before having all these pieces that we could put together to do some pretty magical things. So how does it work? So out of the box, we have partnered with Microsoft and Azure OpenAI, and we've integrated that into MicroStrategy AI. So if you buy MicroStrategy One and you buy MicroStrategy AI, uh, you don't have to worry about licensing OpenAI separately. You don't have to worry about how do you use the OpenAI APIs. You don't have to worry about prompt engineering or deploying Python services. It's all just there, part of our platform. And so effectively, all you need to do is you bring some data and you ask some questions and you get some answers, all because of the sophisticated uh, platform that we have that provides for open data connectivity, our semantic graph for governance and business logic, OpenAI and Python for AI and deep learning capabilities. And then of course, all of our UIs uh, on mobile devices, web devices and so forth um, for dashboarding and the, and the UI for, for, the, for the end user interaction. And that is basically how OpenAI and MicroStrategy work together to form MicroStrategy AI. Um, one thing I wanna point out is the difference between using something like OpenAI or an LLM all by itself versus using it with MicroStrategy. So here you can actually see on the left is how things would work if you didn't have MicroStrategy. And on the right is what happens when you do have MicroStrategy. So on the left, if you just took some data and you gave it to an LLM and you asked it to compute something for you, it'll give you an answer, right? The problem is it won't understand necessarily how to compute that answer uh, because it doesn't understand your business. It doesn't understand the business logic of those computations. And so it'll probably just make something up. So it might look right, but it may or may not be right. And it's actually relatively, I would say, non-deterministic. It's probabilistic. So the answer might even change over time. And that's not really a great way to run a business, right? But if you take that same cognitive ability and you add MicroStrategy to it with MicroStrategy AI, what happens is you get data from MicroStrategy, which is governed, trusted. You've got the semantic graph to add additional context to that data and business logic. Then when we interact with Gen AI, with LLMs, we ask LLMs to use what they're great at, which is linguistics and reasoning, but we process the data and calculations 
in the MicroStrategy One platform. And what that results in is you get the linguistic and cognitive capabilities of AI, but the trust and calculations happening in the MicroStrategy layer. And then you bring AI back in again to explain the answers, and then you give all of that as an answer to the user. So you get answers that people can trust, but explanations that sound human and feel natural coming from the world of AI. And ultimately, our goal through all of this is to make it possible for you to inject AI into all of your apps, into all of your workflows, uh, with really not a lot of effort and not a lot of knowledge required uh, in terms of actually doing AI programming. And so with MicroStrategy One, as I said, it comes all out of the box. We've got our data connectivity. It lives pretty much in any cloud that you want. Uh, and then you can bring your data, turn on MicroStrategy AI, and you get the kind of experiences that I just showed you for creating visualizations, for asking questions, getting answers, uh, distributable to the masses, to pretty much all of your users, and then of course embeddable uh, as well. And so that is MicroStrategy One. It is truly the intersection of AI with trusted analytics and BI, all on an open platform, right? So we support multiple clouds, multiple databases, multiple uh, scenarios, of course. And our DNA has always been about being the open, standalone company that allows you the flexibility to deploy analytics the way you want and to all of your users uh, as easily as possible.